lovers it's ruby reds world of dolls and welcome back guys thank you so much for stopping by i hope that all is well fantastic and fabulous your way i have a few barbie items here as you can see yes you guys know that i am on my summer break which has almost come to a quick end. I have two more weeks. I have exactly two more weeks on my summer vacation and it'll be back to work for me. Um, I'm not complaining because I worked a month of summer vacation for summer school and this month of July I have got to spend so much time with the angel cake you know and I am just loving it. The angel cake they have bought their first home and they're they have moved closer to the Meemaw. Meemaw can drive to their new home in 55 minutes and that is so much better and I love it and they bought a place as angel cake says out in the country Meemaw just like you we out in the country you know that's where I was raised you guys those of you that know you know what I'm talking about and those of you that don't understand what I'm saying I can't explain it to you but you have neighbors but your neighbors are not right on top of you and it's just calming and and it's just a nice way to live. Um, there's nothing wrong with the city life either, you know. I mean, but I just, this is what I'm familiar with and this is what I like. But on their way, yesterday was my first time to the house. You know, they've been moving. They've been moving since last week. Um, they've got everything in the new place. So now everything is you know, trying to get things unpacked and get it the way they want, you know, and I'm telling them, you know, it's going to take time. You guys know moving is a lot of work. So summer has been awesome. You know, I love where they're living um, on the way there. Like I said, it was just a peaceful peacefulness that came over me when I turned on the off the main road to go to their go where go to the head to their house it was just a peaceful drive and so calming and peaceful and it was just wonderful so you know god is good and i'm just so happy for them and you know so happy for the angel cake she has a big yard to run and play in you know because they have been living in the city life so you know now she has a big yard that she can run around and play in and you know and i love that and um so that's what's been going on but she has been spending a lot of time with Mima this july july's almost over you know, Saturday is the 29th, and I know that because that's my birthday. And, you know, it's 31 days in this month, and it's almost over. And um, it's flown by. My summer break has really flown by. You know, I work June, which is part of my summer break. And, you know, that went by fast. And, you know, my summer break is about to come to an end. I have about two more weeks of summer break. And, you know, I'm just enjoying it. You know, I love... I've loved this month. I've got my, you know, spent all this time with the angel cake, you know, and we've been together, as my daughter says, my sidekick. So she didn't come. She stayed home yesterday, but she'll be back with me. Well, we'll see each other the weekend. You know, we always celebrate my birthday together. But that's what's been going on this summer for me, and it's been good stuff, you know, and I'm just so, I'm so grateful and truly blessed, you know, I just thank God for it all, you know, God is good all the time, but on another note, let's talk about Barbie, <laughs> um, if you guys are existing in this world, you are looking around, and everywhere you look, you're seeing Barbie, 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 you know, Merchants that didn't even carry Barbie stuff are carrying Barbie stuff and it's becoming a bit overwhelming for me I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of like over it. It's just like the Barbie movie Some of you asked me was I excited about the movie excited about the movie because it is something to do And you know I was ex and I am still excited, but guess what? I still haven't seen it Angel Cake and I was going to go together, but Angel Cake does not like to sit down in the movie. She doesn't like to sit still. And, you know, she doesn't really show much interest in the movies, even when it's something that she should. Um, and I don't know if this movie is really um, something she would be interested in. We discussed it. We were going to go, and she was like, Mima, I really don't want to. So I said, you know, I think I will just go and watch it by myself. You know, I think that will be a nice little thing for me you know I'm used to doing a lot of things by myself so I think that I'm just gonna go see that movie by myself that's my plan tomorrow to go and see the Barbie movie um 
and I haven't. I've heard some good things about it, but just like with everything, you know, there are going to be negative opinions, and I hate to say this, but I don't, because it's the truth. There are people that go in with everything looking for the negative and the downside. They're not looking for the positive. They're looking for the things that they can talk down about. But um, I'm hearing more positive things than I am negative things. Um, a lot of nitpicking is what I'm hearing from a lot of people. Most of the people that I follow and that follow me, they're going to see it twice. They went to see it twice. So if you went to see the same movie twice, then that says a lot. <laughs> I haven't went to see any movie that I can recall in my lifetime twice. <laughs> you know, I might watch it again when it comes on television, but I never went back to the movie theater twice to watch a movie. <laughs> I guess that's just not my thing. But I am excited to see it, but I don't think I was excited as a lot of people were. You know, everybody is sharing their pictures and fun and all of that of the movie and and it, it is exciting to watch and I'm loving it but I thought that I would drop in and share with you guys a few of the little things that I have purchased along the way told you guys I have pulled back a lot and I'm and I'm really sticking to that um I'm just dolled out I'm really just into accessories and stuff like that and crafting for my dolls I have so many dolls and you know I look at them sometimes and I pull out containers and I'm like, God, I forgot I had these beautiful dolls. And right now, I'm more into, for the last five years, it's been about Barbie. You know, I have other dolls that I collect, but it's been about my fashion dolls and mainly the Barbie dolls. So, that's where my focus is right now. And I'm enjoying it. I'm just learning to live the moment that I'm in. And at this moment, I'm loving the Barbie stuff. But, I don't, a lot of, some people... Bleed Barbie, sleep Barbie, eat Barbie, everything is Barbie. I'm not that person. Now, I do love my Barbie and I do love my dolls. And I do probably put more of me in it than I should, but not as much as some. Because like I said, I'm kind of a bit over the, um, the merchandise. So I thought I'd share with you guys some of the things that I have picked up um, along the way. Now... These shoes right here, I got these from Walmart, and they are awesome. $25. I ordered them online because my store didn't carry them, but they came in less than two days. But they are awesome. Now, I'm a size 8, um, so they say that they're true to size, Every the reviews I read. $25, guys. They are very nice shoes. Very nice. Um, they're very nice. So, if you're interested in a pair of the Barbie shoes, I have Barbie Crocs, but I don't have a pair of Barbie sneakers. So, I thought I'd show you guys these. They're very nicely made. I don't know how well they wear, but they're very nicely made and very comfortable on the feet. So, Walmart has those. Um, some stores have them, I think, but I ordered them online. You know, my store didn't have them. And then, of course, the Barbie Gap Collab, the hoodies. Now, here's the packaging and how it looks. And this is the back of the box. Now, for me, I ordered, I jumped the gun, and I ordered mine from Mattel Creations when I received the email notification. They're not due to ship out until the 1st of October. And usually it don't come until then and sometimes it's after and I wish that I had waited but sometimes you take the risk of things selling out but fortunately these did not sell out now here's my mini me she's rocking this hoodie and I'm telling you it looks absolutely good on her the quality of this hoodie is amazing this is a miniature hoodie if you know gap quality this is gap quality and it is it's it's amazing and ten dollars you know I know a lot of you say that's too much for a doll hoodie but you know for us dead hard <laughs> strong collectors you know ten dollars for a gap Barbie collab hoodie that's not that's not much to me you know it's to me it's 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 a fair price I'm gonna say it's a fair price and it's very nicely made it's a miniature hoodie and it looks good on the dolls and I love it and I ordered four from gap I think I ordered three from Mattel Creations. Um, I love the hoodies because my whole thing was to get them and I wanted to style Ken's and Barbie's and do a great photo shoot. 
you know, and have the dolls displayed in the hoodies. So that's why I have so many. And then I want to keep one in the box. Now, my only negative thing from this experience was that Gap, like all of them, Gap, Old Navy, J.C. Penney's, Belts, they always ship your orders out in bags, okay? So with that being said, my boxes got banged up really bad. I think this is the best box, so I'll probably keep this one in the box as a um, collector's item since that box is not so bad and um, keep that one in the box. But the other ones I'm going to open. But they got banged up pretty, pretty bad. So, um... That's my only downside, you know. Should have wrapped them or either put... If you're going to put them in a bag, at least make it so they don't get mashed up and banged up so bad. But you can get them right now at the Gap website for $10 a piece. And again, like I said, I know that a lot of you are going to say that's too much. I had somebody comment on my um, Instagram post when I posted my picture of my mini-me in it that they're going to have to wait and get it as a hand-me-down. You know, because a lot of people, you know, they're not going to spend the money. But, you know, if it's something I want and I can afford it, I'm going to get it. And like I said, I don't think the $10 was a bad price. I don't think the $10 was a bad price for the hoodie at all. So, my other item, and what I'm really trying to find, let me move my mini-me out of the way for just a second, are the magazines. Now, I've been able to find the magazines, only two of them. I think there's three that I have seen. Now, I purchased this one from my local Food Lion, and it's really nice. And I'm not going to do a spoiler alert, because a lot of people, you know, they don't like that. But I'm just showing you the cover, and I will flip through it. It's all about Barbie and the movie, so, you know. But I paid the 14 it was $14.99, so this magazine was $15. But it's all Barbie. It's all Barbie. And um, worth it for me as a collector. And then I picked this one up. The Angel Cake and I went into my Lowe's Home Improvement looking for other little items. And guess what I saw? <laughs> this is all about Barbie, the unofficial story. And even though the suggested retail is $13.99, and that's what I expected to pay, when I scanned her, it scanned it, it scanned for $9.99. And um, beautiful photos, and it's all about Barbie. There's a little section in here on the movie. It's well worth it, you know, and I thought I'd share it with you guys so that you can be on the hunt for it if you're interested. And like I said, I found this at Lowe's Home Improvement, you know, so, yeah. So there is a third one that I'm trying to find. And if I find it, great. If I don't, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. But I would love to have all of them um, that I can get my hands on. Because like I said, as a collector, you know, I have a little section over here with my, with my books. You know, my American Girl books. Barbie, especially Barbie. Because, you know, I'm a big fan of Barbie. But um, the magazines are out there. And, you know, they're popping up in places that you wouldn't expect them to pop up in. And that was strange. I was not expecting to... I didn't even realize that my Lowe's sold magazines. You know, I went to the self-checkout. Now, if I hadn't went to the self-checkout, I would have missed it. But me and the Angel Cake um, were at the self-checkout. And I only had a few little items. And um, I said, mm, let me look at the magazines. And there in the front was... And it was only two of them. I started to get both copies, but I only got one. Because I only need one. You know, that's a waste of money to get two. Um, I only needed one. And um, I got one. So, home in, Lowe's Home Improvement. I picked the second one up from my um, local food line. Which, the, the, food, the grocery stores, like Food Line, you know, they have, they sell magazines. So, I wasn't shocked to see it. And I was looking for it when I went in my food line. Because, you know, the magazines were out. So, I was looking for it in the food line. Then, I found this little Barbie pin in Family Dollar. Wasn't even looking for it. Stumbled across it. And, um, I bought my Angel Cake one of these, too. But, it has just different little Barbies on there. Um, and they're styled in outfits that I don't have. This is one of my favorite BMRs with the braids. There is one of the Barbie Looks kit with the short kit there, the petite. And it's just cool. I like this pen. I love this pen. I remember when I was a youngster, these pens were like 
something that was magical. <laughs> so I picked this up. I think it was $3. I think it was $3. And then, guys, let me show you guys this. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already. I picked this up. This is the um, the tiny TV. And they have different ones because they have different shows. And I do want to get the one with um, the Big Bang Theory because I love myself some Sheldon. Do you hear me? I could watch the Big Bang Theory all day because that Sheldon is a jokester. All the, the whole cast is a fun together. And, you know, but that's Sheldon. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to get that one, too. But I got the Batman one because as a child, this was one of the things that my brothers and I did every afternoon. We would play outside until we just couldn't play no more. And while Mama was fixing dinner, we would sit down in front of the TV on the floor, this kind of TV, <laughs> And we didn't have a remote. This one comes with a remote. <laughs> and we would watch Batman and Robin. And this thing actually works. It plays different little um, scenes from the movie. From the show. And I just love it. And it plays more than that. But that's just a little, um, won't, don't want to do the spoiler. You know, I want you to be surprised when you get it as well. And then one of my Gaps hoodies just fell back there. But I love that. And, you know, a lot of things bring back childhood memories. You know, all of us collect for a reason. You know, and I bought that because that is going to go in my um, Mini Me's um, house, you know, that I'm working on. But it also has a sentimental, um, reason behind it as well <laughs> and um i also picked up some fabrics the other day from the dollar tree when the angel cake and i were in there i love these colors you guys know i'm trying to get more into my pushing myself to sew and craft and i can already vision when i saw these i pictured what i wanted to do with these three different fabrics so these are the little squares the little crafters um square and um, that's what they call that section, the crafter square. But these little pieces of fabric, they work great for um, Barbie things. And then I watched um, another cool video of some outside patio furniture. And I grabbed these. And I opened this one up. Um, it's not a lot on there. I mean, it's $1.25. But it's enough to do a craft. You know, you can get a couple of things done with this. And this is the burlap. And it's not the color that she used, but it can still be used. And I can see this as outdoor patio furniture. So that's why I grabbed it. And I ha you have to grab it. I don't know about you guys, but stuff like this sells really fast in my, um, in my Dollar Tree. So whenever I see it, you know, I just go ahead and I grab it and um, add it. But I have really been good with not buying dolls and... You know, not adding dolls. I told you guys, I'm really focusing on trying to enjoy what I got. Though I am still going to pick up some things. And like I said, the everywhere, in the world is flooding right now with Barbie merchandise. Now, I did order me a jacket, and it's on pre-order. Um, and what else? Have I ordered anything else, Barbie? No, that's it. Because like I said, I already had a pair of Barbie Crocs. Um, I should have... I should have brought those in here for you guys to see too, but I didn't. But I have a pair of Barbie Crocs, and I have a flood of Barbie t-shirts. You know, I, I have a ton of Barbie t-shirts. So I haven't bought any. Um, I did pick up a couple when the Angel Cake and I went that day, and they had the display for us. I did pick up a couple of the um, t-shirts that fit me um, in there, because they were only like $8, and usually the ones that I buy online, you know, I usually pay $20 and up for those t-shirts, unless I get a sale, but I didn't, but that's it, and then, like I said, I bought my jacket, and I do have a Barbie purse, too, um, it's just, it's just flooding, oh, and I wanted to share this with you guys, too, now, I ordered this from Timu, and you know, if you sew crafts, you need a mini iron. You, you need one. 
And I ordered this from Timu with the hopes that it was the exact same one on Amazon for $10. And I checked it out when I got it, and it is. This is a cool little iron. And it comes with the cord as well. Comes with the cord, and you can on and off switch. And you can plug it into the, um, to the wall socket. And um, it's really cool. And it gets really hot. But I got it on Timu for $4.99. <laughs> Timu, the exact same brand, the box, everything. It's the exact same iron. And I got it for $4.99 on Timu. And Amazon has that same iron for $10. So I thought I'd show that to you guys as well. And that's about it. You know, I just wanted to drop in and do a little dog chat and share with you guys what's going on. And, you know, share with you a few little items that I purchased to tell you where I got them if you're interested in getting them. But you're not going to have any problem finding anything, Barbie, if you want. The cups. They got cups. They've got purses. Oh, my goodness. It is it is Barbie world right now. This is the this is Barbie's world right now. And it's everywhere. And like I said, I can't even stroll through my Instagram without seeing Barbie merchandise. <laughs> and um the second wave of Barbie movie dolls. I'm starting to see those come out in other countries. Um the Western Ken. Um, the roller, um, the roller skating Barbie and Ken, um, and then there's another Barbie as well that has um, been shown, and you know there people are able to purchase them in other parts of the world. We haven't gotten them here, but I did see on Instagram someone that is all about it and always on point say that the Western Ken and the other dolls I think are supposed to release here in the U.S. Um, August around August 4th so around the 1st of August in other words within another week you know they should be available for sale but I don't know if I'm going to I don't know it depends on how much they cost you know this Barbie movie um, collection is a big deal for collectors you know because once it's gone it's gone and you know if you're gonna get it you're gonna get it some people are finding the Barbie movie dolls Ken and Barbie on sale in their Walmarts. <laughs> yeah, some people are finding them on sale in their Walmarts. So, I haven't been in my Walmart in about a week or about a week. Yeah, I try to stay out of Walmart. I hate that store, but you know, sometimes I have to go in there, but I haven't been in there in a week. So, um, I'll have to check them out though to see if they have any new things or whatever. All right, guys, I think that concludes this video. I think I've shared with you guys everything that I wanted to share. I really, I don't know if the shoes are my favorite thing. I don't know, but I really like these shoes. I'm really impressed with the quality of the shoes for the $25 price point. You know, like I said, some stuff is really, really overpriced. But I think the hoodie, the Gap, the Gap hoodie and these shoes are really great, you know. And for those of you out there that are diehard collectors... Hunt for the anywhere that sells magazines, you might want to check because you might find these magazines there because that's how I found the one in the front there. Never thought I'd find it there, but there it was. All right, guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.